I'm Sensei Alex Kakio, regular contributor for Buddhist Historic Global, and I'd like to welcome you to this episode of The Ordinary Buddhist. The title of today's talk is Waving the Fan of Dharma. But before we get into that, I'll remind you to subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post talks in the future. And if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button, that'd be great too. Now long ago, there was a Zen master sitting outside of his temple. It was a hot day and he was waving a fan in front of his face in order to cool himself off. Eventually, one of his students approached and asked, Master, if the cool air is all around us, why must you wave the fan? In reply, the master was silent and continued waving his fan. The student bowed and walked away. Now, the interesting thing about these Zen koans, like the one I just spoke about, is there's often some doublespeak going on, which is quite interesting. So we're going to get into that here in a minute. First off, there's the literal understanding of what happened. The master is sitting there waving his fan, and the student asks, why is he doing that? The air is all around us. Why do you need to wave a fan to cool yourself off? And of course, the physics student answer is that as we wave the fan and the air moves past our face, it takes some of the heat energy along with it. It's the same effect as if we're driving down the highway and we roll down the windows. It's hot outside, but the movement of the air allows us to cool off and it can be quite pleasant. But of course, the Zen master wasn't trying to give his student a physics lesson, and this is where the double speak comes in. Because what the student was really asking about is the importance of Buddha pra Buddhist practice and its relation to Buddha nature. Because in Mahayana Buddhism, we are taught that we are all Buddhas. We're born Buddhas, we'll die Buddhas. Everything around us is a manifestation of the Buddha. So why do we need to practice Buddhism? If we've already attained this state, if it's already a part of who we are, and the answer is, it's the same reason that the teacher had to wave the fan. The air was all around him, but he had to wave the fan in order to feel the effect of the cool air. We are already Buddhas, but we need to practice Buddhism in order to manifest our Buddhahood, our enlightenment in daily life. We are already compassionate, but we have to practice compassion in order to have others experience that. We already have inner wisdom that we can trust, that won't let us down. But we have to practice developing that wisdom in order to experience it fully. We have to wave the fan of Dharma. And we are very fortunate here, 2600 years after the death of Buddha, in that we have a wealth of teachings in the Mahayana tradition, the Theravada tradition and the Vajrayana tradition designed specifically to help us wave that fan to manifest our compassion, our wisdom, our enlightenment in daily life. So as we do this, as we bow, as we chant, as we meditate in the temple and in our homes, it's important for us to remember that what we are really doing is the same thing that teacher did when he spoke with the student, or rather, when he chose not to. We are waving the fan of Dharma and providing a cooling and healing air for everyone to enjoy. Amitabha.